guys, this is Bhatna Akpal for iGAN.in and today we're going to be comparing the HTC One X Plus with the Galaxy Note 2. Now both of these devices stand as flagship devices running Android Jelly Bean from Samsung and HTC respectively. Uh, both these devices come in the price bracket of about 40,000 Indian rupees or about 750 US dollars. Uh, they are available in the market right now in capacities uh, 16 and 32 for uh, the Galaxy Note 2 and uh, in fact you get a 64 gigabyte version as well which is slightly more expensive uh, but for the HTC One X Plus at least in India you only get the 64 gigabyte everywhere else you get a 32 and a 64 gigabyte. Let's talk about the basic differences in terms of processors, in terms of hardware and in terms of uh, looks and then we'll get on to the user interface. So when we talk about the HTC One X Plus uh, first of all let's do comparisons side by side. So the HTC One X Plus has a 4.7 inch display with a 720-1280 pixel resolution, a total of 312 pixels per inch. For the Galaxy Note 2, you have a 5.5 inch screen, so slightly larger screen. In fact, it's quite large, almost an inch difference in terms of uh, the size, but you have the same resolution. So you have the 720-1280 resolution and you have a considerably lower PPI, so it's 267 pixels per inch versus the 312 on the One X Plus. Now both of them have Corning Gorilla Glass 2, HTC comes with Sense UI 4 Plus and uh, this comes with TouchWiz UI, so in terms of Android Jelly Bean has Sense on HTC, has TouchWiz on Samsung. Now let's talk about the front cameras over here, uh, the Galaxy Note 2 has a 1.9 megapixel front camera and uh, the One X Plus has a 1.6 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, the Galaxy Note 2 also has a hardware button at the bottom, uh, the One X Plus does not have any hardware buttons in the front. If we turn it around, basic difference over here you'll see, we have a solid polycarbonate shell on the HTC One X. It is extremely robust, extremely impact and scratch resistant and it's one of the uh, hardest materials available in the market uh, today. Uh, over here we have a plastic shell uh, which is very very scratch friendly in fact. And if you guys can notice over here slightly, we are starting to lose color on the back of the Galaxy Note 2. So that's the slight difference and uh, this plastic is not very solid. In fact, in several tests that have been done online, uh, the materials on the Galaxy Note 2 are quite fragile uh, when compared with the One X Plus. Uh, on the back over here, you, uh, both these devices have 8 megapixel cameras uh, which do full HD 1080p video at 30 frames per second. However, in uh, the One X Plus, uh, it does video at 28 FPS versus 30 FPS. Uh, but the HTC One X Plus has an f2 lens, which is a very high aperture lens, which allows a lot of light to pass through. So you get lots of detail in your images. That's good. O over at the bottom, you'll see that uh, the HTC One X comes with Beats audio engine uh, and a really nice speaker grill over here. The speaker phone on both these devices is fairly loud compared to previous generation of devices. Let's talk about hardware now. The HTC One X Plus comes with an NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor. Of course, uh, you have uh, enhanced versus the One X. Uh, you have an enhanced 1.7 gigahertz uh, CPU, which is a quad core CPU. You also have the ULP GeForce 2 GPU. Uh, so that's good for the Galaxy Note 2. You have an Exynos 4412 quad core processor. Uh, which is running a 1.6 GHz Cortex-A9 CPU. You also have the Mali 400 MP GPU. Both in their own respect are absolutely brilliant and perform really great. So in terms of performance, both these phones are great. And I'm going to show you a bit of that as well. Uh, for the Galaxy Note 2, uh, you get micro SD card support up to 64 GB. On this, you don't have an external SD card support. So that is a limiting factor. So the Galaxy Note 2 obviously wins with the expandability aspect. Also another aspect uh, that is a little better on the Galaxy Note 2 is uh, the fact that uh, you have two gigabyte of RAM, whereas you only have one gigabyte of RAM on the One X Plus. So those are the basic differences. Uh, both of them do have uh, Bluetooth 4.0 with A2DP. Uh, on the Galaxy Note 2, you have uh, EDR as well with Bluetooth 4.0, which is good. You also get NFC on board devices, which is great. You, you also have USB host support, so you can connect a, a USB device or a pen drive or a hard disk externally on the Galaxy Note 2, uh, whereas you can't do that on the One X Plus. So those are the basic differences. Uh, let's turn them on and let's take a quick look at the user interface. So the power button for the Galaxy Note 2 is on the right hand side, uh, whereas for the HTC One X Plus is on the top. 
simply slide your finger across the lock screen to unlock this uh, Galaxy Note 2. But before I actually unlock it, I'm going to show you the differences between uh, the lock screens over here. Uh, so on the Galaxy Note 2, you see the date and time information over here. You have that over here on the One X Plus. Uh, you also have four quick launch icons at the bottom on the One X Plus, whereas you have five on the Galaxy Note 2. Notification panels are accessible for both. That's thanks to both these devices being on Jelly Bean. So you can see you can look through your notifications on both these devices and you can clear them and quickly jump to settings on both these devices as well. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, you will see that uh, we have a white background sort of uh, settings panel over here and the standard Samsung sort of settings panel over here. And if I go into information, so once I get into software information for both these devices so you'll see that we have android 4.1.1 and on this as well you have android 4.1.1 and uh, this has htc sense plus 4 plus and uh, this has touch with user interface uh, let's quickly come to the home screen over here in both these devices you have a quick leap sort of interface where you can quickly jump from your home screen to home screen uh, which is good you can add up to seven home screens in both these devices and uh, delete them as easily as you add them so that's fairly simple. Uh, both of them do have Google now. That's an Android 4.1 Jelly Bean uh, standard. So you have uh, voice input over Google now and you do get voice feedback as well. Uh, but let's take a basic look at some of the things over here. If I look at the phone dialers over here, uh, you will see that we have a nice and large dialer for the Galaxy Note 2, whereas the standard HTC dialer where you can jump from people, groups or call history. Over here, over here, also you can jump to logs, favorites and contacts you know, from the Galaxy Notes uh, dialer. That's good. Uh, some of the things uh, that you would uh, like to know is if I quickly jump into messaging on uh, the Galaxy Note 2, uh, you'll see that we have a sideways keyboard. So it, this is a single hand input keyboard. So if you're using one hand, uh, the keyboard shifts to the left or right depending on what hand you're using so that you can easily type on the large screen of uh, the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, whereas on this you have the standard HTC keyboard which is fairly easy to use no issues uh, using the keyboard on this it's fairly easy to type with and uh, there are no problems with this keyboard at all so good keyboard both of them support continuous input uh, whereas uh, the Galaxy Note also has a handwriting to text and that's uh, using the S Pen which is over here but I'm going to highlight the features of the S Pen much later and if you want to take a look at what all the S Pen is capable of we have a video on our channel on YouTube so you can check that out so that's a basic look uh, now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to ensure that both of these devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi hotspot and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a performance test in terms of uh, first I'm going to quit all running applications on uh, the Galaxy Note as well as uh, all running applications on uh, the One X Plus. So you can see that. Now I'm gonna fire up the internet browsers on both these devices and I'm gonna quickly quit all tabs, get a fresh tab in here, uh, go back on this and get a fresh tab in here as well. So we are in blank tabs in both of them and I'm gonna go to iCan.in on both of them together and see which one is faster. That was almost at the same time. Let's see which one can load up the website faster. So you can see the Galaxy Note 2 is slightly better, but this is already done loading it up and the Galaxy Note 2 is now finished as well. So in terms of doing that, uh, you'll see that the One X Plus was slightly faster in loading up our website. In terms of kinetic scrolling, you can see both of them are more or less at par. Uh, let me quickly turn up the brightness on this as well. And I'm also gonna see if power saving mode is enabled. So it was enabled, let me quickly Turn up the brightness so that we don't have any issues in comparison. There we go. So brightness is up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try that test once again. And now this time I'm going to see which one can load the full website faster. It appears the One X Plus is already finished and it's now finally loading up the image uh, whereas the Galaxy Note 2 is still struggling to do that. So now it is finished as well. So both of these devices 
you can see that the one x plus is browser is slightly better at loading websites a slight bit faster as well you can see it also re-renders text to fit into the same page uh, whereas it does not do that on the galaxy note 2 however you do have a larger screen size so you can read more text but if you zoom in you'll have to pan around whereas in this it fits everything into the same page i'll also quickly turn both of these devices into landscape and uh, show you what the screens look like more or less uh, the same kind of interface you'll see that in the stock browser again if you zoom in even in landscape the text is reflown to fit into the screen uh, whereas you'll have to pan around in the galaxy note 2. so that was a quick look at the browser let's quickly quit all applications so now while i was doing that if you uh, let me open up the browser as well as uh, the play store over here and i'll show you what the difference between the multitasking window is as well on the galaxy note 2 you'll see that uh, all your running applications come in the stock android interface Whereas on the HTC One X Plus, uh, you will see that you get cards uh, that you can scroll from from left to right. On uh, the Note 2, you can simply slide it uh, towards the left or right to uh, quit an application that's running in the background. On the One X Plus, you have to slide it up uh, to quit an application uh, that is running in the background. On the Galaxy Note 2, you will see that you have a button to quickly end all running applications. And you can also go into Galaxy's or Samsung's proprietary a task manager that allows you to end applications and you can also free up some RAM as well uh, which is a good feature inbuilt into the device you don't have that feature in uh, the One X Plus so all you can do is look at the applications quit them one by one you can't end all applications as well and you don't have a RAM freeing software which is inbuilt you'll have to download a third party software uh, from there I'll also take a quick look at the music players over here so uh, you can see this is what the music player looks like on uh, the Galaxy Note 2 whereas uh, this is what the music player looks like on the One X Plus. Uh, you can see that I don't have a lot of songs over here but this is how the songs show over here. Uh, you can sort them by artists, by songs, by playlists, by genres or by folders. Uh, you also have within the music player ability to add several other applications so they show up inside the music player. So if you have radio Tune in radio over here, 7 digital over here, they'll show up in the same application as the music application. And uh, that's good. In this, you can search again by playlist, by albums, by artist. Uh, you can also have a music square which automatically uh, can select via your mood and play music for you. So if you're in a calm and joyful mood, it'll play music according to that. If you're in an exciting and passionate mood, it'll play music according to that. Again, you can sort them by folders as well, so that's good. Now you can listen to music uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, you can share the song as well. Uh, so you can select, for example, a song and then you can share it over Bluetooth, over Dropbox, email, Gmail, WhatsApp or Wi-Fi Direct. So you have lots of options for sharing. Uh, you can also delete, etc. and scan for nearby devices for playing music. Uh, that's absolutely good. Uh, on this, however, uh, you can only play music and shuffle. You can't directly delete from here, not all music. So you'll have to go into each track one by one and uh, then look at settings and you can share it one by one. On this, it allows you to do it for multiple tracks, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's come back into the home screen. Now, uh, again, if you look at uh, multitasking, I can scroll. On this, I can quit it like that. So that's good. Now I'm going to take a look at uh, benchmarks. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to find quadrant standard over here. So uh, both these devices are prepped up and ready to go and I'm going to run full benchmark on both these devices. So you can see over here on Quadrant Standard, the One X Plus uh, receives a score of 7292 running the stock Jelly Bean ROM, whereas the Galaxy Note 2 receives a score of 5944 running the stock uh, Jelly Bean ROM. Uh, you can see that there is so there's quite a difference of scores over here and uh, the One X Plus definitely wins when it comes to benchmarks. Uh, also during benchmarks, uh, there's something that I re realized that I needed to tell you guys. The screen on the Galaxy Note 2 is a Super AMOLED display whereas this is an SLCD display. Uh, in fact, it's an SLCD 2 display. So the colors are very accurate on uh, the One X Plus. Uh, you will see that white is exceptionally crisp and it looks white whereas on the Note 2, uh, white is slightly bluish and uh, 
it does tend to change color so contrasting over contrasting over saturation on the display and it's it's less crisp when compared to the display on the one x plus which is definitely a better more refined display it's also more visible outdoors versus the display on this so uh, the last thing i'm going to do guys is uh, actually i'm going to do two more things so i'm going to play a video uh, a similar video on both these devices and then i'm going to do a bunch of games for you guys so uh, let's open up the youtube application on both these devices and uh, you can see that we have the samsung galaxy camera video over here i'm going to just play that on both these devices together so uh, while both the speakers are very loud and very accurate uh, you will see uh, that uh, colors are slightly softer on uh, the one x plus and they are slightly more accurate there is a big difference between the colors on uh, the note 2 uh, versus the colors on the one x plus uh, you will see that white is a lot more whiter on the one x plus it's more accurate on this it's slightly you'll see a greenish bluish tint on uh, the display which is which makes it slightly difficult or uh, to understand or realize the kind of colors that are going on in the actual thing so if you're looking at an image uh, you'll not see the accurate image on the galaxy note 2 whereas you'll see exactly the same colors now of course uh, the galaxy note 2 is quite a different device when it comes to uh, looking at what the devices are made for um, the one x plus is only a smartphone a 4.7 inch smartphone it's a performance powerhouse it's a smaller phone it has a smaller screen uh, however uh, the galaxy note 2 has a lot of features that uh, the one x plus cannot have simply because it does not have uh, the kind of technology uh, that the Galaxy Note 2 has. So the Galaxy Note 2 has a Wacom digitizer in built into the screen of the device which allows you to use the S Pen which has a soft touch tip and I use some of the brilliant features that uh, the company or Samsung have included uh, with the device. So for example, you can create drawings or sketches or take notes uh, with your hand on the go which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it allows you to sketch and draw using the S Pen. It also allows you to crop images, use Photoshop on the device. Very easy to do, very nice interface. You also have a multitasking feature uh, that you can pull up at any time on the device. You don't even need the S Pen for that. So for example, if you are looking at uh, the S Note application, for example, and you want to browse the uh, YouTube uh, video space, so you can do that uh, by running both these applications simultaneously so let me try and quickly pull that out again and pull out S note and put it at the bottom over here so I can for example simply uh, just hold down on the button take an image and crop through that image copy it to the clipboard I can create a new S note over here and I can quickly paste from the clipboard over here So you can see that the image that I copied from the top has now been pasted over here and I can quickly scroll through it, I can modify it, I can change it according to my requirements. I can even change the color of my pen and I can make it a paintbrush, I can increase the size and I can start painting. So that's uh, the kind of things that you can do with the Galaxy Note 2 that you can't do with the One X Plus simply because uh, you don't have an S Pen or you don't have those apps inbuilt into it but those are completely different features. Uh, this is supposed to be a phone tablet sort of interface with an S Pen uh, that allows you to do that. Uh, this is supposed to be just a superpower uh, smartphone which is an Android smartphone and that's about it. So I'm not really going to compare the S Pen features in this video. If you guys do want to look at this uh, phone and the S Pen capabilities you can check out our video. It does absolutely brilliant work with S Pen and you have lots of features. Uh, so in that respect it's absolutely brilliant so let's talk about a couple of other things before we jump into gaming uh, now both of these devices do have uh, google now so you can do voice search you can do a uh, voice dial etc uh, but uh, the samsung galaxy note 2 also has s voice uh, which is also inbuilt into the device uh, which allows it to quickly do stuff like siri it's not as great as uh, google now so you won't be using it a lot more uh, but you can do a bunch of things uh, with s voice as well so uh, you can see over here you can do a bunch of things you can voice dial you can message you can search contacts you can navigate uh, you can open up a memo or send a memo uh, create a memo schedules uh, schedule your calendar schedule task play music twitter updates search open applications record voice tons of things that you can do uh, with the s voice uh, that you don't have an app for 
on HTC One X, not natively. In fact, you can download Vlingo, and you have several other applications available in the Android uh, Google Play Store, but not something which is natively available on the One X Plus. Uh, let's also take a quick look at uh, the camera applications on both these devices. So on uh, the One X Plus, uh, you have a camera uh, that allows you to record video as well as take images while recording video. You can also put in some effects from over here, which is uh, again absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can uh, put in some effects, picture effects, video effects from here. You also can go into settings and set up a bunch of settings for your camera. So video quality, picture quality, kind of images, camera options. You have all those things. You can also turn on geotagging and you can also turn on touch to capture. You also have a digital zoom over here which allows you to quickly go in and take a picture. Uh, video recording and continuous capture on this device is absolutely brilliant. You can capture up to 99 images at the speed of four frames per second. Similarly on the Galaxy Note 2, you have a lot of options compared to the first generation of Galaxy. You can also do burst shot, but it does not take 99 images. It'll take about 20 images. You also have a bunch of scene modes, a best face, single shot, uh, you have all those effects, so you have best photo, best face, face detection, panorama, you don't have all those things here. Uh, you do have a bunch of uh, options, but nothing uh, as compared to this. So when you come into scene modes, you can see that a normal landscape, portrait, back night, text or macro, uh, you have panorama, face detection, HDR, buddy photo share, beauty shot, smile shot and low light. On this you have HDR, group portrait and panorama. So a bunch of differences, almost more or less the same. Uh, you can set your exposure value, focus mode, etc. Geotagging, outdoor visibility uh, for your uh, device. Again, same thing. You can have continuous shooting and you, in, within your camera options. You can turn on video stabilization as well. You also have anti-shake and the Galaxy Note 2. GPS tag is like geotagging, so you can do that as well. So more or less the same kind of settings. You do have uh, some effects here as well, uh, just as you have on uh, the One X Plus, so more or less the similar kind of effects, negative, posturize, etc. You can turn on or off flash or you can switch to the front facing camera. If you switch to the front facing camera on the Galaxy Note 2, uh, your video record setting is what I want to look at. So if, if we switch to video over here, I want to see what size it will record video at. So you can see that we have a maximum resolution of 720. Whereas in this, I believe we can do full HD. Let me quickly check again. In both these devices, you can do front facing 720p video. So that's again, a similar aspect on the devices. However, we found the camera on the One X Plus uh, does do great uh, continuous pictures, whereas uh, the camera on the Note 2 does great video. So video comparison, uh, I think the Note 2 does slightly better, but people have different opinions. Personally, I feel the Note 2 does slightly better video and you do have a slightly larger viewfinder so holding the device is slightly easier, uh, whereas you can get some shaky video in uh, the One X Plus. Uh, both of them are very usable videos, uh, not professional quality videos, but very usable. You do have slightly nicer lens on the One X Plus. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a Nova 3 on both these devices. Since a lot of you guys had asked me to compare that, I'm gonna do that as well. So I'm gonna run Nova 3 on uh, the One X Plus first, and then I'm gonna play it on the Galaxy Note 2 second. So let's quickly find it.
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Nova 3 on uh, Galaxy Note 2. Uh, you will see that even during games, uh, the multitasking window for uh, the Galaxy Note 2 continues to show up in the background. You can get rid of it by holding down on the back button. You will also notice that games load much faster on the Galaxy Note 2. This is SQ1 to actual. Warden to actual. Please respond. Yelena, do you read me? Uh, while I died over there playing that game, uh, you'll realize that uh, gaming on the Galaxy Note 2 is much smoother. Graphics on the One X Plus are slightly more crisp. Gaming itself, the overall uh, fluidity of the game itself is much smoother on uh, the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, animations and interactions, the frame rate itself is much better on the Galaxy Note 2 whereas it's slightly less on uh, the One X Plus. So uh, there is your comparison between the One X Plus and the Galaxy Note 2. Both these devices are great at what they're supposed to be. This is supposed to be a great smartphone. It is that. Uh, this is supposed to be a great phone, tablet, phablet, whatever you like to call it. It is a great device and it's possibly the only device in that category that does it so well. We also have the LG Optimus View. Uh, we can do a comparison between the LG Optimus View and the Galaxy Note 2 if you guys want that. So give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want a video review, or a comparison between the LG Optimus View and the Galaxy Note 2, we'll do that for you guys as well. If you have any questions or queries, do leave them in the comment section below. Uh, you can also check out the full details of both these devices on iGAN.in. And you can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. To subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. And for iGAN Network, we will be Thank you guys for watching.